How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk about a maze solving algorithm. There's a lot of maze solving algorithms that exist. I'm going to talk about my favorite one, which essentially turns a maze puzzle into a coloring book exercise, which isn't really a puzzle because you can do it without thinking, but it can still be fun. And if you're using nice markers or pencils, whatever, it, it can look nice in the end. So the point of the algorithm is you just color in the dead ends. Okay. So here we have a maze. Okay. And we have uh, an entrance at the bottom and we have uh, an exit on the top, right? Or you can think of it the other way around. And what we're going to do, we're, we're even going to just ignore that entrance and exit. You're just going to pick a dead end and you're going to start coloring it in. Okay. Now, if you're using actual pencils on a piece of paper, well then as you're coloring it in, it'll look nicer than what I'm showing here, but you get the idea. Okay. Now what happens is as you're coloring in dead ends, I'm going to go to the bottom right now, right? So we have this dead end here. What happens? Okay. The dead end is over right now. Let's color in another one. This one's over color in another one. And what happens as you color in dead ends is new dead ends form, right? So now we have another dead end right there. So we start coloring that one in. Okay. Coloring in this one. Now we have another dead end here. We start coloring that one in. Okay. We stop because it's not a dead end anymore. We start coloring in other ones and so on. And so you can see how these new dead ends form. Okay. And so that place we stopped before you can see now, oh, well, that's a dead end now. So we can keep coloring in there. And what happens as you're doing this, other than you, know, you can have some fun coloring stuff in, is that you're crossing out all of the areas that either are dead ends or that lead to dead ends. Because what are these new dead ends that form? Those are just pathways that lead to dead ends. That's why coloring in all the dead ends ends up turning that pathway into a dead end because dead ends is the only place where those pathways lead. Okay. So what happens if you color in all of the dead ends and all of the pathways that lead only to dead ends? What happens is you color in all the places you shouldn't go, right? Cause that's, that's where you shouldn't go in a maze, right? You're not supposed to go to the dead ends. And once you've colored in everywhere where you should not go, the only thing that's left is where you can go. And so if your maze only has one solution, well, then once you've colored in all these dead ends, both the original ones and the ones created from your coloring, well, the only path that's going to be left is that one correct solution. Okay. Now, if that actually shouldn't be colored in there, let me erase that. Now, if your maze has more than one solution, then once you've colored in all these dead ends, okay, the original ones and the ones that, that are formed, right? Like that one there. If your maze has more than one solution, well then those solutions will remain, right? So you'll still have more than one path to the exit that will remain, but you can take either one of those paths, right? So the puzzle is still solved. Now, the one caveat here is some mazes actually don't have you go from one edge of the maze to the other edge of the maze. They have you go from one edge to the center or vice versa from the center to one of the edges. Okay. Like escape the center of the maze or find the center of the maze, those kinds of puzzles. So in those kinds of situations, don't color in the dead end, which is the center of the maze, which is where you're trying to escape from or where you're trying to go. Okay. Cause that, that one doesn't count. Okay. That's, that's the path that you actually should be on. Right. So for those kinds of mazes, you just color in the other dead ends. Right. And then still you'll have the correct path or one of the correct paths. If the maze has more than one solution, you'll still have that 
remaining. Okay, so you can see we've we've colored in like most of the maze here, right? And we can already see a solution forming. Okay, so so maybe you already see what uh, what the solution is, what the correct path is. But I'm still going to finish it using this uh, this algorithm just to show you how that algorithm works. Right, because again, you could solve things quicker. If you notice certain shortcuts, right, realistically, you don't have to implement the full algorithm to find the solution, but you could, okay? And this algorithm can be applied to very complicated mazes, okay? This one's rather simple, right? You could do it to much more complicated mazes. If uh, you're interested in seeing that, you can stay tuned for a future video where I will apply this exact same algorithm to a much more complex maze and you'll see how even the most large ones can be solved it's just a matter of time that's all it is okay so we're almost done here just this bottom part and that's that now, of course, to implement this, you have to be able to see the maze from the top. Okay, if you're actually walking through the maze, unless you have a map of it, well, then you won't be able to color in the dead ends because you don't know where they are unless you've reached them. And of course, there's other algorithms that you could implement if uh, you are walking through the maze, but those I can uh, handle in another video. So we're pretty much done here. Okay, you can probably see the solution already. Okay, and, and so that's it. We've colored in all of the dead ends, the originals and that we've created, and now there's only one path left. So let's go. Oh, you know what? There's one more dead end at the bottom. Not that it makes a difference to us, but I'll color that one in too. There we go. So I'll just change the ink here. We go in, we follow the only one path that exists. And there we go, we've solved the maze. And you know what? We forgot this tiny little dead end here, but that's okay. So that's an algorithm you can use for any maze that you can see from the top. And there you go, you can have fun with it. Think of it as a coloring exercise. Use it to impress your friends, your kids. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.